Hello folks, it's story time again. This time it's one of my favorite stories. I must have said this a million times. I don't know where I heard it, but it's a beautiful story. It's a story about a scholar and a teacup, like the one you see in front of me. So this particular scholar's main job was to learn new things, new skills, new languages. However, he had one problem. He just couldn't learn anything new. Given that his profession is to learn new stuff. This was a big obstacle for him. It's an annoyance that he can't learn new things, new skills, new languages. So he, his friends counseled him and said, why don't you visit this Zen master who seems to know it all? Why don't you approach him? So he approached, the scholar approached the Zen master and there was a lovely teacup uh, on a beautiful table and a lovely carpet right underneath that. And right next to it was a teapot, well, bigger, much bigger than my little teapot here, but it was a bigger teapot. So the Zen master asked the uh, scholar to start pouring tea and with the only condition that you should stop pouring only when I ask you to, till then don't stop pouring. So he took the teapot and started pouring tea. I have milk here, but in, the, in my story there was uh, tea. And he started filling it up with tea. The teacup was slowly filling up little by little and it reached the end and the scholar thought that the Zen master would ask him to stop but he didn't. He let him pour even more than my level. I don't want to ruin my tea but, but you get the idea. So he kept pouring it and kept pouring it and guess what happened to the tea that he was pouring after it was full. All the tea started spilling all around on the table, it started messing up the table. Scholars started getting nervous and, and jittery and he was not comfortable with that idea. And the tea started pouring on the lovely carpet and that got ruined also. Scholar was all upset. The Zen master finally took pity on the scholar and said, now you may stop. The scholar was all festered and he said, oh my god, I spoiled your carpet, I spoiled your table, it's, it's bad. Uh, so, what do we do now? So, the Zen master said, it's okay, I'll get one of my students to fix the carpet and the table, don't worry about it. Now, I want you to tell me, what happened to the new tea that you were pouring once the cup was full? The scholar thought about it and said, well, the, all the tea spilt out, it was all around. So, tell me one thing, if you want tea, fresh tea to be filled, one even after the tea cup is full, what do you do? And the uh, scholar answered, well, you empty the tea cup, transfer it somewhere or just throw it out and start pouring it again. That's how you get new tea into the tea cup. Then master said, it's exactly what is happening with you. You are already full up to the brim with knowledge and there is no way on earth you are going to get new information, new skills, new language. What do you have to do then? You have to throw away, empty your tea, teapot, your teacup, sorry, teacup and that's the way you can get new knowledge. Get rid of your old habits, get rid of your uh, whatever you are clinging on to and that's how you learn new skills. That folks is why I made you empty your head. You get it? Thank you.